hello guys welcome back to piping engineers so guys in today's video we will be discussing about the piping certification courses so guys we all being a piping engineers or being piping designer or let's say being engineers we always wanted to upgrade our skills and for that uh, we we always wanted to do different types of piping certifications so there are some certifications that that are directly offered by ASME and i believe if we do those type of certifications they definitely help us in our career and we can be more stable in our career and let's have maybe we can have a good job and good salary so guys let's begin our today's video for more videos please like subscribe and follow our channel so let's begin our today's video and let's see what are the piping certification courses available in market so the first course that or the certification that a person can do is uh, we call it cpde that is certified piping design engineer so this course is guys taken by or the certification is provided by your american society for mechanical engineers that is sme sme is the owner of this certificate and what are the eligibility requirements so if you wanted to have the certificates uh, certification you must have a five years of minimum experience in uh, piping and design engineering after that so that is the uh, preconceived uh, condition that that you should have then only you can apply for this cpd and what are the examination details so there will be around 120 multi choice multiple choice questions and we have a duration of approximately four hours so within four hours you have to complete the exam and the fees of this examination is approximately 200 usd per attempt and certification is awarded after two weeks within the two weeks after you clear the examination so this examination or this certification is very important if you are uh, are applying for any job in let's say gulf or maybe in usa or in different parts of the world and if they if you want to be wanted to be a certified piping design engineer you should definitely give this uh, examination uh, moving on to the next slide guys uh, next is your certified process piping designer so this examination is again called cppd and again this is also administered by your american society for mechanical engineers so isme is the um, one who which takes this exam and this exam focuses on design of process piping system so the eligibility requirements for this examination is again you should have a minimum five years of experience in piping process uh, piping design so guys you would be saying that in last examination also they require a five years and here also they require a five years so basically in five years uh, company or industry thinks that more or less you have seen every up and down in the industry in let's say in terms of your designing in terms of your project management or let's say in construction so that is why a minimum piping minimum five years of experience is required because this five years of experience more or less tells that you have seen most of the stages of the design or, or, or the engineering examination details if we talk about there will be again 150 multiple choice questions and has a duration of approximately three hours so in three hours you have to give 150 multiple choice questions and after that the examination fees is 500 usd plus applicable taxes and fees along required for documentation for registration document for registration so here this document for registration means you have to show your experience certificate before you fill the form uh, uh, like in the company which you are working or maybe you have to submit all the work experiences if you have worked in more than one company to complete this five years of uh, five years of experience to meet the eligibility requirement guys in next slide so next is certified mechanical engineers so it is called CME. So CME is also one of, one of the important examination uh, like in fabrication parts in, in fabrication industry in most of the uh, companies or most of the industries people ask for the CME. So CME is again, you know, American Society for Mechanical Engineers. They have they conduct this exam. So American Society for Mechanical Engineers is godfather for each and everything you can say by this thing. So eligibility is guys eligibility varied based on individual circumstances with a general cost estimate of around 500 to 1000 dollar for the application and exam so again i can tell you uh, if you if you are from india so these examinations are a bit costly for you guys so before filling the form you should make sure that uh, you meet the eligibility criteria and you are well prepared because giving this much of money and get failed in examination is a very difficult and tricky situation so I will request you all. So if you wanted to go for this particular certification, make sure that you know for which you are applying and what is will what will be the requirement in your current job or let's say in future jobs. So after that, only fill the form and apply for the job. Next is the guys. This certification includes a written examination. So that covers various mechanical engineering topics. So the subjective examination is always on the tougher side. 
so they will see that how much conceptually you are strong so based on that those conceptual examination or subjective examination will be there and you have to perform that examination certification is again important for career advancement and enhances prof professional credibility so obviously if you will give a subjective examination people will be more aware that you are uh, that you are conceptually strong and uh, you know the things in and out so it's a very uh, good i would say a uh, crown like i would say diamond in a crown if you if you give this examination and pass for this moving on to the next one uh, next is api 510 pressure vessel inspector certification so about this examination uh, about this examination so pressure vessels you know if you wanted to move ahead in your boiler or let's say in vessels industry so you can give this examination or apply for this certification so the certification is given by api that is your american petroleum institute and designed for individuals inspecting pressure vessels so you would be knowing there are special officers who inspect your pressure vessels uh, someone with having this api 510 pressure vessel inspector certification can only certify an examination uh, certify and pressure vessel so it's very important eligibility is you must have an experience of at least three years of uh, experience in pressure vessel maintenance or inspection with alternative qualification paths available based on training experience so basically you should be uh, working in some your pressure vessel industry before and based on that prior experience only you are eligible to give this examination examination consists of 80 multiple choice questions and has three uh, and has a duration of three hours to complete and the fees is again 650 dollars huge and with the annual renewal fee of 100 dollars usd post requ uh, required post certification so i'm not sure uh once you get the certify certificate certif certificate for how much time it is valid but uh, but it is sure that uh, you need to go for a post uh, renewal you know, fee of 100 dollars once you receive the certification like we go for this uh, project management pmp project management certificate certification pmp certification so that is also required for uh, your renewal so i guess it is similar to that only uh, moving on to the next one guys next is your certified piping stress analysis engineer sepse cpc so so the point here is less most of us or many of us are working in this uh, stress analysis field only so uh, if you want to move your career one step ahead let's say move out of the crowd so you should uh, definitely move for this certification and this is offered by again sma and recognizes expertise in piping stress analysis so once you pass this examination you would be a certified person who has a certif who has a uh, dominant knowledge in your piping stress analysis eligibility is again i told you five years of experience in piping engineering so that you are mostly aware of the concepts this certification requires submission of an application and passing an examination the cost range is around 500 to 100 1000 dollar depending upon the location and it is valid for five years with renewal options available through continuing education so again once you get the certificate it will be available for five years after that you have to maybe there would be some nominal renewal fee you have to pay the terminal fee and uh, again you can apply for it moving on to the next so the certification uh, in this is certified heat exchanger uh, design engineer so this is also uh, one of the most uh, important certification and many people go for this certification so in this certification uh, this is again conducted by sma as i told you sma is one of the leading one and it mostly gives all the certifications related to mechanical engineers so the eligibility is guys again you should have five years of experience in heat exchanger design and analysis so again this is related to something heat exchangers so if you are previously working in heat exchanger line only and you have some special or uh, let's say uh, more focus on your heat exchanger fields and you wanted to grow your career so you should definitely go for this certification course by sma so the examination detail is it consists of two examinations one is your online exam covering thermodynamics and fluid mechanics and next is your hands-on practical exam so this is a bit different exam uh, or certificate certificate which we discussed uh, from our earlier earlier slides so there will be two exams so hands-on practical exam will be a bit tricky and you must be aware of everything that uh, happens uh, or that is included that is a part of your heat exchanger so again this certification is costing around 500 to 1000 dollars and certification is a timeline of uh, will comes in four, four to six months after registration uh, it will take four to six months as there are two examinations once you clear one exam then only uh, you will be move on to the next one uh, that is your hands-on practical examination so that's why this examination takes around four to six months for the completion so guys i hope in today's video you would have learned something
so guys thank you for watching the video and i hope you would have been uh, uh, seen that if you get this certifications definitely you will rise in your career and you will have a different uh, career path and good job and good salary so if you have seen this video up to end please do like the video so that we are always in a good mood to make new videos for you so guys thanks for watching the video thanks a lot